Hey guys, Stephanie with CNA Travel here. I wanted to do a um, quick video on the Viking Vesta. This is Viking Ocean newest cruise ship that's going to be out in 2025. The maiden voyage is July 2nd, 2025, 13 days from Venice to Barcelona. But I wanted to go ahead and uh, go through the deck plans just really quickly with you um, in case you are planning to cruise on this brand new Viking Ocean vessel. Um, and if you are looking to plan your next Viking cruise, perhaps on the Vesta or any of their ocean cruise ships, you can uh, reach out to me. My information will be down below. I am Stephanie at cdaytravel.com if you want to shoot me an email. So let's get into it. The Viking Vesta is again their newest ship coming out next year less than a thousand guests it is a small ship um, it's going to be sailing itineraries in europe the med the adriatic greece etc um, so let's go ahead and take a look at their deck plans and um, i don't want this video to get too long so i'm just going to be quickly going through um, the deck plans so you can take a look and um, get a feel for where things are located if you're new newer to Viking and or if you're just curious about their newest ship that's coming out so again we're here on deck one that's the lowest level and we've got the kitchen table here we got the chef's table Manfredi's Italian restaurant and some of their uh, private dining venues as well we have the living room and there are some uh, pictures that I can click on for you. Um, the living room for relaxation, guest services is going to be down here on deck one. You're going to have a bar. Um, you're going to have a shop, hair salon and a fitness center. And of course the Nordic spa, which I know my clients, one of their biggest reasons why they love Viking is they love their spa and their spa is included. Um, in your fare um, and they also do have services for a fee as well um, but the spa area um, is included in the package great place to relax so let's head up to deck two and in the back we have your main dining uh, venue restaurant and here you're going to have your atrium the bottom level of your atrium on deck two and then you're going to have this uh, bar area tour uh the nordic shops and then here you're going to have a theater uh, and it can transform into uh, two cinemas as well with a bar in the theater so let's go up the atrium to deck three and here's where we're going to start seeing the staterooms so you are going to have in the atrium, it is going to be open to um, the deck two below. And here you're going to find your deluxe verandas, your explorer suites, a few aft deluxe verandas. You're going to see your um, penthouse junior suites. And um, again, your regular verandas as well and then your deluxe verandas explorer suites in the front and the back so let's go up to deck four and deck four is going to be uh, more of your staterooms so you have your deluxe verandas on the back midship uh, forward and aft and then you do have your explorer suites here in the front and the back i'll give you a quick a quick um, picture of the explorer suite um there you go this is going to be a picture of the aft and then the forward facing ones as well um and your penthouse verandas here your penthouse verandas are going to be a little bit bigger than your deluxe verandas. And then here, your 
penthouse junior suites will be a little bit bigger than your penthouse verandas. Um, you will have extra space and you have the uh, a little bit of a division here and again uh, wider space as well. You'll notice in all of their staterooms they are going to have walk-in showers so there is no need to worry about um, having a tub having a tub to get into they are all walk-in showers which is nice deck five you're going to have more of the same your deluxe verandas um, your explorer suites at the front and the back penthouse junior suite penthouse verandas and again pricing you know always changes with where exactly you want to be on the ship right your penthouse verandas these will be priced differently because this one's forward that one's more aft so let's go ahead and go up to deck six this is the level right underneath the open pool deck area so here on deck six we have the deluxe verandas we have uh, Explorer Suites in the back. Then we have your Penthouse Junior Suites and your Penthouse Veranda. All right, so let's head up to Deck 7. This is going to be your public spaces. So here in the middle, you're going to have your pool area with the retractable dome. You're going to have your winter garden from the winter garden. You want to have some state rooms. Here you are going to have the penthouse junior suites. Now remember those are ones that are a little bit bigger with the divider. And then you will have two, only two deluxe verandas. So if you like staying up on the pool deck, um, which I have done on one of my cruises and it was very convenient for um, during the day by the pool, um, the back of the, the back infinity pool, um, the world cafe and all of that. It was really nice. So only two of those. And then you have the owner suite. So this is your top of the line suite here on Viking Ocean. And I'll go through a few pictures here really beautifully done private sauna area you can have your you can have your uh, new friends or maybe you're traveling with friends you can have them over and again your veranda and your bathroom and of course the toiletries as well and here is just a quick overview of the layout for the owner suite and again um, this is on the pool deck deck seven and that is the only owner suite that you're gonna have i got ahead of myself we do have mampsons for snacks some lunch and breakfast and then we have of course the explorers lounge in the front which is great for hanging with friends checking out the views um, that is a one beautiful location. And then we'll go up to deck eight. You're going to find the upper level of that Explorer's Lounge. And then you're going to have your Penthouse Junior Suites. Again, the Penthouse Junior Suite is the one that is a little bit bigger with some division. Those will be up here as well as just a couple of deluxe veranda staterooms. And you can see an overview how that's a little bit smaller there. Um, you have the retractable roof of the pool the rest of the way. And then we'll go up to deck nine and you'll see a sports deck. Um, you can also use it for yoga, for walking, uh, walking track. But they also have bocce ball, a putting green, um, some equipment over here, shuffleboard. So just some fun activities while you are on board. 
Okay, well that um, completes this deck plan video of the Viking Vesta. I hope you enjoyed it. I thank you so much for watching and clicking on my video. Um, if you like this and you want to see more about Viking Vista, um, comment below and let me know or uh, give me a thumbs up and let me know that you want more. Be sure to subscribe so you can get more of my um, upper premium and luxury content that I like to bring here on my YouTube channel at Sea Day Travel. I'm also very active over on Facebook. I have a luxury Facebook group. Um, that I will also link below. All my information will be linked below. I thank you so much for watching. If I can help you plan your next Viking, ocean, or river cruise, and certainly reach out to me, Stephanie, at cdaytravel.com. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.